Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be about some of my favorite medical apps that I use. So I had this idea for doing this video for a long time, but today is finally the day that I got a chance to sit down and film this for you guys. So I am still using the iPhone 5SE. I know I am very far behind, but I really like the phone. I have tried using the Samsung, the Google Pixel, the new iPhone, so the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7, and the iPhone X, but I still find the iPhone SE is just the perfect size for me. It is so slick, you can easily navigate the phone with one hand and you can. it is small enough that you can put it in your pocket and take it around with you. And that's at the end of the day what it is. It's an iPhone, it works really well, it works well if you have small hands or don't want a giant phone. So that's why I have not switched to one of the newer iPhones. So the first app that I have on my phone is probably the most important one. It is the BNF. So it is basically the whole BNF in an app and for those of you guys who don't know, BNF stands for the British National Formulary. It is a formulary of all the drugs that are used in UK. It tells you the dose of the drugs to use, the indication and also the side effects. So it also tells you which drugs are licensed and which drugs are unlicensed and it does tell you the cost of the drug as well. So if you are trying to prescribe the drug to your patients, you will know which brand is the most cost effective. The next app that I have on my phone is Talkspace. Talkspace is essentially a database where you can find information on all types of poisoning. It is run by the National Poisons Information Service, which is essentially a branch of Public Health England. They also have a 24-hour call service. So if you come across a substance that is not in their database or if you need more information on a particular substance, you can give them a ring and they will try their best to get back to you and give you more information that you need. The next app that I have on my phone is Microguide. Microguide is basically an app that will give you all the information you need and the guidelines for treating infections. Most hospitals use Microguide so you can change the guidelines depending on which hospitals you're working in which is definitely useful especially if you're a locum doctor or if you move around different trusts. The next one is not really an app, but it's definitely very important. It is the Renal Drug Handbook. The one I use is by St. George's University, but essentially you need to get a Renal Drug Handbook so that you'll be able to know what type of doses that you can prescribe to patients with renal failure. One that I have tells you the doses for each individual drug based on your renal function, and it also tells you what is the safe dose and the frequency if they're on renal replacement therapy as well. The next app that I have is MadCal. MadCal is basically an app where you can calculate the score for your patients. It has on there all the various scoring system that you will need for medicine. So the ABCD score for TIAs and stroke, the CHADVAS score, the Hasbleed score, and the GRACE score for myocardial infarction. It also has there a way where you can calculate the PE and the DVT scores as well. Using a scoring system is very important in medicine, especially in the UK, and it can make a difference whether the patients get admitted to hospital or whether they are safe to be discharged home. That is all for my video today. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any apps that you think will be useful for doctors, please leave it in the comments down below so I can check it out too. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!